Hey guys, so I am with my friend Justin and we are here in Utah. We are going to uh, look at the eclipse today, which is in about one or two hours. And uh, we drove about four and a half hours from Vegas to come here. And we're currently driving an extra hour to get to the actual path from where we're staying. So it's very exciting. I think it's my very first annular eclipse. So I'm very uh, impatient to capture it. And uh, we have uh, Stella here as well with us and it's going to be very fun. So we'll try to uh, use our telescope as well as smart telescopes and our uh, phones to take a picture of the eclipse and overall enjoy it. So uh, the good thing with Utah is everywhere you drive, there's so many beautiful backgrounds and I love that so much. I, I love Utah so much for this. It's so beautiful. And uh, yeah, we are going to hurry up and drive an extra hour right now so we can get to the spot and set up. So we took a beautiful drive about one hour towards the path of the eclipse. We were staying at Under Canvas, which I'll talk about later, and we could have observed the eclipse right from our tent, but we wanted to have the full ring of fire for our pictures, and so needed to go a little bit more north for this. Most people we encountered drove all the way to the top of the mountain, which I thought was a bit useless for an eclipse, so we stopped right before the climb and had no one around us. The only thing is, we would only have about one minute of actual ring of fire. So we're trying to find a spot. Sadly, the sun is this way, which is kind of boring in the foreground. The other direction is so amazing. So it's kind of sad, but we're trying our best to find a good spot. Okay, so we found a spot, which is there. We walked all the way from down there to here. And I think it's good enough. There's no one here. And uh, there is some space for the telescopes. Ta-da! Yeah. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to get the car right now and hopefully it's a good spot. If not, uh, too bad, but uh, we'll try. What I hate though about the desert here is that look at all these plants. Those are called uh, goat head plants or whatever. And um, there are like literally thousands of, of spiky plants that are very, very hard and they get stuck to your shoes, they get stuck to your to your pets and they actually make you bleed so it's terrible okay so the eclipse you cannot see right now but it's already started it's about one third in right now and uh, justin brought something for our telescopes um filters and he made a 3d printed adapters for us as you can see so what is this justin <laughs> this is a 3D print housing that we're going to put our solar filter on top of. Um, I've got just some simple screws here that will go in here just to clamp this in place. And this will hold this securely so we can put our film in front so we can safely look at the sun with our telescope. Nice. Awesome. So this whole trip almost got ruined. I was over here trying to find some angles with my camera for a cool time lapse for this video. And Justin was taking his time with setting up the filters. It wasn't getting darker at all as the eclipse was happening, which makes sense for an annular, but we did not pay attention to it and thought we had plenty of time. Justin looked at the sun one more time at random, and suddenly we realized that the ring of fire was already almost there and would happen in 10 minutes or less. And nothing was ready. You can see here that Vespera is just chilling there, closed, and none of our rigs are up. We dropped everything we were doing and ran up and down the hill trying to set up at least one of our two rigs we brought. Fully stressed, rushed and already convinced we were going to miss it. We finished setting up and threw on the 3D printed part with the filter to the scope. By extreme luck, the mount was already pretty much perfectly centered on the sun and Justin was able to start his DSLR camera right as the one minute long ring of fire started. I honestly have no idea how this happened, but it was just nuts. We were maybe 10 seconds away from missing the ring of fire and have this whole trip ruined. Please learn from our mistakes and constantly check the progress of the eclipse. Okay, so we had almost no time left, but we managed to do one rig and looking good so far. Just about to be in the center, which is great. I was able to start Vespera and make it image the sun very quickly, but was sad that it was a bit too late, meaning I only got a picture of the partial eclipse on that one. So this was pure chaos. We were taking our sweet time. We had so much time and then we're like, 
Oh shit, it's now. We have to hurry up. And nothing was set up. I'm kind of sad because right now, Vespera, I, I got the image just a bit too late. And uh, it's still imaging right now, as you can see. Uh, it looks great though. Yeah, it's nice. So now we'll just take some time to actually enjoy it visually instead of rushing and trying to get a picture. Because that's when the real memories will be uh, important. Yeah, very nice. I wish you could see it, I don't think so though. Oh, you can see it. Nice. It just barely covers. We got very lucky. That's it. We got so lucky. That's it. That's all we got. We got very lucky. We didn't miss it. <laughs> so just to show you guys how lucky we are. All right. So this was our test shot just to make sure that we had it in frame. Last test shot. As soon as I hit go on the video, very next shot, that was it. That was dead center. If we'd started any later, we would have completely missed it. That's how lucky we got. Crazy. All right, so we got it. That was a that was a success. So, good job. <laughs> we got very lucky here. <laughs> this close from going home crying. <laughs> good girl, Stella. Good girl. And it was now time to go back to the tent and process our shot so that we could add it to the billions of Eclipse shots already published on Instagram that day. Okay, so we're finally back home to the tent and we pulled the data from the telescope camera and we're now trying to process it and enhance it a little bit um, and see what we can get. Very cool stuff. And here is a result from this very chaotic day. We're just so relieved and happy that we got it. Tonight, we are going to shoot the night sky instead. So I'm going to show you guys where we're staying right now. Uh, it's a very nice location. I'm going to show you inside. It's like glamping, so it's like a luxury um, camping experience. And it's called Under Canvas. So they have several locations uh, across the US. And uh, we went to Zion once. And now this is in, near Page, so near uh, in between Utah and Arizona. So I'll show you guys inside real quick. So here is the entrance, very nice. And if we go in, we have a, like a very nice uh, tent style. Inside we have plenty of space. There's a big bed, um, a chimney when it gets cold, because at night it does get cold in October. Right now it's a bit messy because we're figuring out all the um, camera stuff and Justin is working on some uh, images right now. But uh, as you can see, there is uh, well, two beds right now. So here is a bathroom and you can see a toilet here and then um, a nice sink and shower. So it's really cool. It's definitely more upscale than just camping. So it's really, really nice. There is no electricity, so you have to bring your own battery. So just like camping, but just uh, a bigger and, and more uh, upscale tent. After walking around the camp and taking some super nice sunset pictures, it was time to make the best out of the bottle two skies and get our last shots of the Milky Way for the year. We had dinner outside and enjoyed some s'mores. The fire felt very nice as the temperature dropped fast after sunset. We played a few games and then went to grab our gear. I used my Canon RA, tripod and 14mm rocking on lens to get the night shots we're going to see here soon. It's right now, it's uh, night time and we're going to try to get some Milky Way shots which may be our last ones of the year so let's try to enjoy it and get some nice cool shots We're currently hiking down some type of canyon and it's not the safest thing at night but we'll do our best carrying our equipment to not fall and die Luckily we came here in the daytime and it was uh, we knew what to expect so we should be safe so there's not much down here, but we'll try to get this canyon 
but it's just a couple of stars behind and, and we'll see. Hello, hello. Here are a few nighttime images we took, most likely our last Milky Way shots until 2024. And a pretty cool time lapse of the stars rising behind one of the tents. We enjoyed one last incredible sunrise as we began packing our bags. We'll now have to drive back to Vegas, four and a half hours away. What a beautiful sunrise. So me and Justin stayed at Under Canvas for two nights and three days. It was really, really cool. Uh, beautiful views and magnificent landscapes. Uh, we were able to get the eclipse shot, which was our main uh, goal for this trip. And uh, we even brought our telescopes and everything, but we ended up doing um, more relaxed uh, imaging, which is Milky Way uh, photography. So we went around the campsite and did a bunch of Milky Way shots, which was great. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. And class guys.